Hi, welcome to RCSP Florida. Today we are not in Florida. We are in North Carolina looking for, wait for it, elk. Fortunately, we were able to find a total of 16 elk over a two day period. What I treated was to photograph these majestic animals. The afternoon we arrived, we found only this single female laying in the grass resting. She got up and the next three photos are of her heading back into the woods. In this photo, it looks like she turns around and says goodbye before she slowly walks into the woods and disappears. She was the only elk we saw that day. The next morning, we found 15 or more over a period of about two hours. We had limited time that morning because severe weather was headed our way and was due to arrive about noon. We needed to be out of the mountains by then to avoid it. We're talking severe thunderstorms, hail, and the possibility of a tornado. So with limited time, we photographed as much as we could. We arrived at this large field that we had passed on our way up the mountains, and at that time, it was empty. This time, we found around nine elk grazing close to the road, and some were still coming out of the woods about 150 yards away. Eventually, all of them crossed the road and disappeared into the forest. It looks like this female elk is saying hi to me, but actually, she was just chewing grass. Oh well, I prefer to think she was saying hi. Close up, anyone? I'm going to show you a sequence of shots of this elk as he tries to cross the road. Keep an eye on his ears. This is the shot I would normally show you. This is a wider version showing this car pull right up in front of the elk blocking his access to cross the road. His ears move forward. Here is the next normal crop of this elk. However, in this shot, this elk is not happy. Look how his ears are back. He is stressed and you never want to stress out any wildlife. Don't ever pull up this close to wildlife. This is not a zoo. These are wild animals. Here is a young male with only one antler. Not sure if he broke the other one off or it just hasn't started to grow out yet. He looks like a lopsided unicorn. Do you think you can identify this female elk? She has a big tag at each ear and a tracking collar. I think they know exactly where she is at all times. She is Miss 138. Here she has one ear turned around backwards listening in the opposite direction. Cool. Wish I could do that. Well, maybe not. I'd have to have ears as big as hers. Now she has both ears facing forward and you can see both ear tags. These girls did not want us to see their faces. They are shy. Not really, they're actually hungry. Oh good, they have heads. Here's Mr. Unicorn again, snacking away. Let me know if he gets any closer. As I was shooting video of this female, another elk was coming up behind me. I don't want to get too close to these animals because they can be very dangerous. Meanwhile, here is video of Miss 138 as she crosses the road. Okay, everybody stop. I'm crossing the road. It looks like she looks both ways before she goes. Compare the size of this elk to the car in the background. They are not small animals.
There was so much to take photos of, I didn't know where to point my camera. Here are a few other photos I captured of this beautiful location. I hope you enjoy them. If you like this video, please hit that like button. And if you want to see more of my videos, please hit that subscribe button. I would really appreciate that. If you want to be notified when I post a new video, tinkle that bell button. Have a great day and get out there and shoot. You won't become a better photographer sitting on your couch. Thanks for watching.